Hello guys, this is Atul from uh, Be Practical Tech Solution. Today again, we come up with one uh, problem based on the arrays. So what is the question here is like, we have to find out the leader element in an array. Now, what exactly the leader elements uh, are there? So the leader elements are nothing but if, uh, let's say for example, I have one array on the right hand side, if all the elements are greater than the current element, then that element is what we call as a uh, leader element. For example, in this case, let's say, for example, this is one array. So now here I can see this, let's say, for example, 70. Now from here or no, no, not from 70. Yeah, 99. You can see here from 99 on the right hand side, every element is smaller than this 99. That is a current element. So it means that it is going to be the leader element. And one more thing, it's very important to know that, like by default, the rightmost element is always going to be the leader element by default. Okay, so here in this case, you can see that from 99 onwards, we have all the elements which is smaller than 99. Then 99 is going to be the leader element. So in this given array, we have 99 as a one leader element and i told you as like if the element is present on the or whatever the element present in on the right hand side by default it is going to be the leader element okay now let's try to understand how we can solve this problem so let me write one uh, function here let's say let me create one function what we call as a find leaders public static so that we don't need to create an object for this class and uh, this one uh, void <clears throat> and a find a leader okay and here i'm going to pass the array okay fine now what we are going to do we are going to iterate here we are going to use the two for loops and the point at which we found that the value let's say for example if we are currently here at 14 and if we found that uh, found that if any of the element which on the right hand side if any of the element is uh, greater than 14 so it means that we have to break the loop at that point of time only because what is the condition all the right elements needs to be greater no, sorry, you need to be smaller than the current element, right? So let's say, for example, here 14. So 70 is greater than 14. So it means that I cannot include 14 as a leader element. So what I have to do, as soon as I am going to compare the elements on the right hand side, if any of the element is greater than the current element, then I have to break the loop. So let's say, uh, let's try to write the same thing. So here for, I'm going to iterate over the entire array, entire equals to zero, i i less than array dot length, as I need to go to the, up to the end of the array. Second. There's uh, some problem came with the eclipse. Yeah, fine. Now it's okay. Now i plus plus. Okay, now here I'm going to declare one variable into j and here I'm going to write for because I have to compare the elements, right? So int j is equals to i plus 1, j less than array dot length, and then j plus plus. Now here, what we have to, we have to compare the, with the current value of i with the entire value of j. So here, if array of i, one second here, yeah. If array of i is less than or equals to array of j, then in that case, what we have to do, we have to simply break. It means that, that the current element is not the leader element. And at the end, when the value of j reaches to the end, 
right? Like that uh, if the value of j is now equals to the length of an array, I mean to say that now currently j is at the end. So I have to, if this condition is not going to work, right? So when this for loop is going to be finished for one iteration of j, and at that point of time, I'm going to check that if the value of j is equals to, or it is point reach up to the last, I mean like end of the array, in that case, I will just simply print the value of i. <clears throat> like this. This is a very simple problem. Now let's uh, call this function as a find leader. And here we are passing this array. Now let's save this and run the code. Hold on, guys. Uh, there's some issue with Eclipse. Hmm. Yeah, here you can see this. 99 and 90. 90, as I told you, the last element is always going to be the uh, uh, this one, the leader element. And from this given array, we are having this 99 as a leader element. Why? Because all the remaining elements are smaller than this current element. So this is how we can solve this problem. So hope you guys got understand the concept. See you in another day. Thank you.